In this latest update, we added some information to the, the text in the software to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you to identify, locate, and uh, choose the right font for your project. And so I want to show you um, what I mean. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to click on the screen. It's going to throw some text up and I'm going to just select um, a font here. and you'll see that this font doesn't really have any kind of an identifier to it so if I click on the down arrow to select a font notice that there are little identifiers next to the names of a lot of these fonts so you have a BL that stands for block you have a 60 a 60 for 60 weight thread or micro thread um, you have an O for an outline font, which we've had for a while. SC stands for script. AP stands for applique. So you can quickly scroll through the fonts. Let's say you're looking for 60 weight um, thread fonts. So you're really going to focus on doing small lettering. You can just look here. You, you can identify the 60 is right here. So you can take a look at it. You can scroll down. Here's another 60. So you can look at that font and see if that's the one you want, or here's another 60 weight font. And it just helps you identify those as you go. We even have a HW, which stands for more like a handwritten. Um, SC, again, is scroll. Um, so you can see there's just these different identifiers to help you kind of locate the type. You even have an RN, which is a run stitch font, which is very nice. So if you're looking for one of those run stitch fonts, an RN in front of the name will be a run stitch font. And we did actually add a couple fonts to this update as well. So we're actually excited to share with you that we've added the 3D puffy foam fonts into here. So you'll notice that there's there's four right here. We have a, a 3D block. If I hit apply, um, you can see it brings it up. Unique thing with, um, with a two color one, is if I do a slow redraw here, you're going to see that um, you're able to do the the puffy foam on for both colors. So also, let's go ahead and select it. Let's come into the capital. And if you've never done puffy foam, obviously you have to have some foam that you lay down onto the item you're stitching and it's going to sew on top of that so it'll sew the letters on top of it and once you're done you'll pull that foam off from around um, the edge and it's going to have a really raised look to it because that foam will stay underneath the stitches so you do have to have the foam and um, and you can pick that up at a number of different places so um, but the other thing is is you have to digitize these a very specific way because you're going to be cutting or pulling the foam off from around, you, you have to make sure that you're cutting the foam on every side. And as you know, satin stitches, they go from left to right. So as it's going up, when it gets to the end, it goes from here over to here, which means that there's nothing, no stitches in between. So that's why you see these other stitches right here going up and down is these are used to actually cut the foam along this edge which normally wouldn't be um, wouldn't cut um, if you just did a regular satin without these capped corners here and so um, digitizing for it you'll see it'll actually do all the caps first anywhere that it needs to cut the foam um, where the stitches aren't going to be going the regular stitches aren't going in that direction so it'll do all of those open ends close all those open ends up first and then we'll come in and and do the lettering so you won't even see those stitches um, but they're necessary so that you can um, cut the foam tear it away so there's a few different puffy foam fonts that we've added um, one a neat one too is like the mirrored look so that will um, you'll stitch first the uh, the shadow effect and then you'll lay foam down and you'll come back and you'll stitch the the letters on top of it and so you'll have the shadow being kind of flat and then you'll have the regular stitches being raised it's a really neat effect so those are the the puffy foam fonts that we've added and again they're 
everything with a PF in front of the name so you can just scroll down to where you find the P's in your font list and you'll see them right here and I hope you enjoy the little identifiers that could help you I find the the type of look you're going after a little bit easier.